Hey, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Back. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to more, uh, There Was a Caveman. Yeah, we, we decided to just get, get past that. It was, yeah. it wasn't very much, um, and literally the next thing What's is this the boss. What shit? Yup. This is the boss of the underworld. I... It's like dinosaur, um... Dinosaur Grim, Grim Reaper? Reaper? Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What if... What Why if... would it even bother being a maiden? Or a lady? Oh, yeah. I guess that is one of the maidens. I don't know. Maybe it's like... Because you've been chasing the maiden, so the Grim Reaper's like, I'll trick you. Yeah, but... Oop. Oh, man. There's a trick to beating this guy, if I remember correctly. I believe you want to be like adjacent to him, or at least really close to him. It's a lot easier to dodge his attacks. Except for the first... There we go. Oh. He only throws them immediately after he teleports, or if you get close enough to him. Ooh. What? The ground is... Just Where are water. they crawling up from? The ground. Underground? Yeah. Not, okay. I don't know, they're larva. You're larva. Th thanks? I said it. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, I, I feel like whoop, a lot of the bosses, kind of, when you figure out their trick, it's yeah, a lot easier really to easy. beat them. I think the first boss is the least like that, because you just have to dodge the obstacles in the environment in order to beat it. Well, you have to dodge, but at the same time, you stand right next to him, uh, right by the, the platform he stands on. Is it just... Yeah, that, that was just like an orb that brings you back to the... Oh, there is one more stage after the Arctic. I remember now. Uh, this one isn't the last one. Okay. The Arctic one is... Something's really, really wrong with that bird. <laughs> yeah, the Arctic is immensely difficult, though. I think this is the one that I probably had the hardest time with, so gotcha. brace yourourselves. Oh, yeah. Get ready for some Chris rage. Um, <clears throat> I don't rage very often either, so... Oh, I've heard some if, of it. If this, yeah, this level gets me to rage on the show. Why is there uh, a fire thing coming out of there? Eh, I don't know. Because can? Because, because... Because ice stage, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's that... Really oh! Bird again. I really, really like this, though. That there oh. are breakable blocks now, because there's snow. No! Oh. I guess that doesn't kill me. <laughs> I, I realize in retrospect that might have sounded very dramatic. Yeah. No! Almost as bad as when I got scared playing Lost Tomb. <laughs> uh, Which, I, thank you for doing slow mo for that too. I know. I went back. I I was laughing so hard when I did that. I went back and I I included Lost Tomb in our little like channel anniversary video. Oh, did you? Yeah, and I I found the old slow mo of that, and I was like. <laughs> Uh, any day to make fun of Cujo is a good um, day indeed. Oh, I hate you. Um, so, this so far has introduced a couple new enemies and the flamey thing at the bottom while also introducing the steam thing, which was sort of carried over from the water level. Woo! Yeah, also got yeah. the falling platforms, which we encountered in the second level. That's, yeah, I, I agree. This is one of the, kind of the better things about this game is I think they're really good at reincorporating similar mechanics that yeah. we've already experienced. Uh, oh. Well. Who knew that if you landed on an armadillo, you'd die. I explode. thought he was gonna... For some reason, I thought he was gonna roll off the cliff. And then he didn't. Oh, and then I died. Yes. Oh, yeah. interesting. Oh, never mind. That just proved my... <laughs> <be false>. Um... <sighs> There we go. Ow. Yeah, so this is almost like a rehash of one of the underwater enemies. The weird fish thing oh, with yeah. these big teeth. The second it saw you, it would oh, get faster. Go. There we Which go. Which is, I'm not putting that down. I think that's really cool. Uh, oh! This is the one that came to mind when I was oh, like, they man. switch it up sometimes with the, the uh, little like special challenge on each stage. Actually, you know what's kind of funny is that the way that they switch it up is that they just have it come from a different direction. Yes, but that changes everything specifically because of gravity. This is not gonna end well. Gravity. Gravity. <laughs> this is true though. Like it. It. I think it's almost easier to have just like swum up. Swum is the right word, right? Swam. Swam. Swam up. Swum. Swam up. Is that right? I don't know. Either way, yeah, swimmed isn't a thing. Right. Yeah, it's swam. Oh. Either way, I agree. I, I 
Or, I don't know what I'm agreeing with. That's I am okay. focused. Wow. <laughs> focused enough that you landed on two spikes. There we go. Did it. Oh. Done. Nice. Woo. So, like, I, I get the, the difficulty is actually from, like, surviving long enough oh. to get to the boss. What the hell? Moving platforms. I don't really understand what they're supposed to be, but they're moving platforms. <sighs> okay. I, I mean, think... it's, a, it's a new mechanic. I can't really be upset with it because it's continually... Giving you things to keep your keep you on your toes, and but it's, it's kind of a staple of platformers to have moving platforms like this. Yeah, um, the like kind of treadmill mechanic, I guess, is a better oh, way to describe it. Oh, and right there, it demonstrated something interesting. You see how it splits? It starts going one direction. Oh yeah, Whoa. so it's preparing you for that. Yeah, that's that's the trouble I always have with these things too. Is that it's really hard to like get that last minute jump. Um, yeah, because you move faster than you're already used to. So. But yeah, it gives you a chance to kind of see this coming. It's also placed strategically so that it will probably kill you if you yep. don't notice it. See, it's doing it right there. It's continually trying to throw you off your balance, and I think that's pretty cool. I think this is also appropriate for a late game mechanic, because right. if this was earlier, I think it would... Well, and you just it, wasted that? Yeah. What is that? What's what? The, oh, so I thought it was like a monkey. It's just no, a bone yeah. statue thingy. Oh, it's, yeah, a pile of bones. That, yeah. Oh, this is one thing we haven't talked about, which, um, well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, is, no, no, no! Oh! This is one of those moments where sometimes having those spikes be a little... Uh, Too blended in into the environment. Yeah, it makes well, this, it difficult yeah, this to is, see. This is where my colorblindness really hinders me, oh. too, because they're red, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. Yeah, like... To me, they look mostly gray. That, that, don't do that in the mic. Please. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Um, but yeah, they look pretty much gray to me, so... Oh, <laughs> compare man. that against a, a white right. background. I'll do my best to describe it for you. I mean, I can see them well enough so long as I'm trying to, like, pay attention uh, to them. There's uh, one on the other side. You are... Man, you <laughs> are a piece of Work. something... Something piece great. Piece of work? Yeah, that piece of... There's one right there. There's one in there, too. Thank don't, you, don't. Cujo, for, for justifying why I bring you on the show. <laughs> As an official member of GDPG. There you go. Hey, you made the decision. <laughs> At the end of the day, you saw something in me. Yeah. Hey, look at something. that. Uh, I don't see how many bones I have. I think I have enough for... Yes. So I'm sort of okay with the fact that they haven't <laughs> He's really got a sweater on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of okay with the fact that they didn't really introduce another uh, tool in this level because it's getting towards the end of the game. You shouldn't still be introducing mm. game uh, changing tools like that. Now, it's not to say that Ooh. like elements like the moving platform is bad. I actually think it's kind of cool that they introduced it right here. I mean, I, I still stick to my guns with what I said about how there should probably be one one unique tool per zone. Yeah, that's true. Um, simply to kind of change up... If, if you've already defined that you're going to change up the player mechanics, then you should be consistent in that. That's true. Um, not that it, I feel that the game is really... Well... That was fire. I, think I don't if, think it was weakened by the lack of variety. I think if you take, like, Mega Man... Mega Man X. Yeah. Uh, that game was fantastic. Unarguably. Um, if yeah. the second you get towards that last stage, or even the stage before the last stage, because I know that there, at least for like X4, there was like a like a prelude to the final stage and then the actual final stage. Right. Um, it wasn't about learning anything new about the game. It was about taking everything you've learned and putting it to use. Oops, that was the wrong button. Um, but here's the thing. This right now isn't set up as the second to last stage. This is just another zone. Right, but if you take a look at the world map, people are going to look and see how far to the right you are. I don't think that's enough to justify it, though. That's Mega Man X, it, it's established that this is the end of the game. It feels like the end of the yeah, game. That's true. It's and so, tactic. yeah, exactly. So introducing something new at that point, mechanically, um, Oh, that's right. Yeah, this guy's hard. This guy's really hard because you slide on the ground too. So when you go to run and hit him, yeah. it's very easy to slide into him. Oof. Um, but yeah, Mega Man X establishes that that's the end of the game, so it feels appropriate. Um, in this game, you don't get that. Like, sure, it's in the after the afterlife, so maybe it should feel that way. But this just feels like an ice stage. That's you true. Know? 
Come on. All right. Come, come on, on, you big dull. Come on, me. dick. Come in. Wow. Come at me. Hit me. There you go. Joker quotes. You can also tell that it's a damage point because his butt is like throbbing. Throb. Yeah. Big old throbbing. It's a little butt. weird. Maybe it's not as. Maybe butt, he's but... like trying to poop. Damn it. It's just. Ugh, it's... Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. No. You don't like that, do you? No. Don't die. Oh man. Dude, I'm a platforming pro. <laughs> <laughs> pro. Okay. Uh, right, you got it. You got it. You got it. You can do this. No. Oh, come on. Lady. Next time on Game Devs. Oh, are we at that point already? Yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna kill this guy. This giant warthog thing. Question of the day. With the. Slippy, slidey floors, and with the moving platforms that are introduced in this level, obviously it's including the other mechanics as well, what tool would you implement that would give a new gameplay element without breaking the level? Yeah, I think that's a good question, actually. Cool. Alright, and we'll we'll sit through your slaughter of this one. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll touch base in the next episode. Oh, that was Chris. <laughs> Alright, bye everybody! Bye!